This video is sponsored by PoTownStore.com, the best place to get yourself some TCGO code cards. Looking for that last card to complete your deck or just to get the latest booster packs in town like Chilling Ring, for example, you can use the coupon code ZABLUSTCG for 5% off your complete order. How fantastic is that? Also, this video is sponsored by CardMarket.com. This is a European platform where you're gonna be able to buy and sell cards to people all across Europe. I personally use it every single day and they even have old school cards for the collectors out there. Last but not least, this video is also sponsored by YourPlayMat.com. This is a website where you're gonna be able to create your own unique custom playmat. Use the coupon code zablucg 10 yp for 10% of your complete order or just click the link in the description below to create your own fantastic playmat for the new season. Anyhow, uh, thanks for sticking around with the commercials. I'll see you guys in a bit. So uh, see you then. What's up, YouTube? It's Zadler's TCG here, and welcome back to our TCG battle video on my channel today. Catterday 2.0 up on the menu. Big shout out to Benjamin Pan for the list. This is going to be uh, a deck that relies on uh, using attacks for free. We can use Air Kinesis, 20 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon for every damage count on that Pokemon for free, thanks to relying on the gathering, uh, the gathering of Cats ability of Persian. So everyone with Caterday can attack for free, like uh, this Litten as an example as well. Big Bite in combination with the Yellowhorn is super strong. Also, uh, you want to spread a lot of damage, so we have Inteleon Quick Shooting, seems to be in almost every deck nowadays, and as well as the Blow Away Bombs. We're going to be relying on Roxy. This has been uh, quite a, a little bit of time uh, ago where we uh, were playing Roxy. This is uh, going to be awesome to track that out. Roxy and Inteleon spreading a lot of damage and then uh, the Esper finishes stuff off. What else do we see here is uh, we have a Mewtwo Protector Bench and we have Fion to push active Pokemon to the bench so we can rely on Air Kinesis. There's also a sneak little Rowlet in here with of course the Wind Shard. If we use Bird Keeper we can actually attack for free as well. So uh, the only energies in here are capture energies just to get our Pokemon up and rolling. So we're going to be seeing how this list fares. If you are excited for this video, be sure to let me know by destroying the hell out of the like button. It helps out in many ways, guys. And uh, be sure to say hi to Benjamin Pham, uh, a, a good player from the Netherlands. And uh, he actually came up with a list like this. And uh, that's exactly what we're using. He has been uh, doing pretty well with this specific build. And uh, we're going to see what the hype is all about. Caterday, right? Attacking for free, I think. Mew can actually stop Air Kinesis, but on the other hand, if we get another, a lot of Inteleons out, we can actually uh, snipe damage on those Inteleons. Okay, Togekiss 69 is our opponent. We lost the coin flip, which is bad. That means, yeah, opponent probably goes first. I, I can go first, what? What? Okay, we can go first with a hand like this. Hmm, what do we do? What do we do? We can Evolution Incense, Weezing, this is interesting. Communication away the Inteleon. And we will get ourselves a little subble. Is the Mew? Yeah, the Mew is in here. Okay. This guy can knock us out with Strafe, by the way, which gets me scared quite a bit. Uh, gets me scared quite a bit. There's nothing else we can do, to be honest. Nothing else to, we can do. He attaches, he knocks us out. We are weak to fighting. Subble. Maybe he whiffs out on the energy. He bird keeps. That's cool. Energy on the sub. Okay, that's that's even better. I thought my Meowth was gone was gonna be uh, knocked out by uh this fella over there. Oh look at that. Okay, what do we get? Capture energy, that's also appreciated. I appreciate this capture energy. <clears throat> okay. Capture energy, which means we can attack for free. If we find another Persian, we do have two Persians left. We can use the Keep Calling to get a lot of our fellas up and rolling. We can use the Mew. The Mew is actually not necessary just yet. Slapping down another Meowth could also be a nice way out. <clears throat> but the Roxy for one gets me a little bit nervous though yeah the roxy for one gets me nervous so we're actually going to use this for to get out wheezing and then go for a roxy for six cards while also spreading a little bit of damage there we freaking go damage across the field look at that only one damage counter though 
can go for Evolution Incense, getting the Catterday action going around. Here comes the Persian. What else? Drizzle. I think I will go for Lava Ball in this situation. Lava Ball can, of course, get out another Sobble. Yeah, there we go, another Sobble. And I think I will also get out a Litten in this situation. This one, I think I will quick bubble away the Tool Scrapper and get ourselves the good classic Litten, which is gonna be able to uh, eat up this Sobble nice and easily. A retreat, we will take the first prize card here, which is crazy to think about. Okay, our Litten eats up a Sobble, super tasty, and we get ourselves <laughs> double Roxy, really. We can evolve into another Drizzle. Drizzle can get an Evolution Incense. Let's just hope we can get ourselves either a Level Ball, Evolution Incense, Quick Ball, or Communication from the top deck. Here comes his Drizzle. So we're going back and forth. The problem is, right now we will need a Mew, or both of our uh, Cater Days go down. And that's something you never want to be seeing. We can Ordinary Rot, the Weezing and Persian, I guess. We really want to. This is an interesting matchup, by the way. I don't even know if this is going to be uh, favorable or not. Also, this guy is weak to water, so no strafe action. He's going to be have to attack with uh, the Rapid Strike Urshifu here. Yeah, there is that switch card. And uh, in worst case scenarios, if we draw into something like Capture Energy, we can also attack with Inteleon, putting this guy to a lot of damage already. So here comes the Guild Trust. Bam. Let's see how this goes. Let's see how this goes. Okay, level ball, perfect. So, uh, Drizzle. The Drizzle is going to get ourselves. Let's see here. We can get out Coughing, so we're actually gonna get out Evolution and Sense. So we can Roxy for a lot of cards. Seems like a great plan to me. Okay, here comes Evolution and Sense. This guy. Here comes Lava Ball. We still have lots of ways we can search out Pokemon, so that's what we're doing here. Yeah. How many outs? Capture Energy is an out, Lava Ball is an out, Quick Ball is an out. That's a lot of outs. And we draw six cards. Let's go! Uh, let's see here. Ordinary Rod can actually shuffle back a Weezing and stuff, but we don't need that right now. Instead, we're going to be spreading a lot of damage across the opponent's field with Roxy. Ooh, there we go. The Capture Energy just com comes in time. <laughs> There we go, lots of damage across the opponent's field. That's how we like it. We're gonna be evolving into Inteleon. We are gonna be giving a capture energy onto Inteleon, getting ourselves our good friend and uh, the good friend today. Yeah, we can get a huge amount of damage with the uh, Air Kinesis already. If we stop 20 here, that's gonna be, yeah, that's crazy. But we really need the Mew here. We really need the Mew. Next up, sniping damage, right? If we slap right now 70 damage on this guy and snipe 120, he could also have a Mew of his own, which is something I really don't want to be seeing. If we go for Kinesis and put 30 on this guy. Hmm, interesting stuff. This over here, we retreat. And I'm actually in the mood to slap, uh, yeah, the Urshifu here on the active. Why the hell not, right? Why the hell not? Okay, so what will we need uh, is going to be Fion. Fion pushes this to the bench and we take three prize cards like that. These Inteleons can, of course, snipe the Mew, but we have Ordinary Rod to get it back. So GMAX Rapid Flows are still going to have to wait a little bit. Ah, the Mew. No! No, 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 no. Okay. We're gonna have to change our plan right now. Yeah, he's gonna snipe damage. Ooh, onto the Inteleon of all things. Bosses orders the Mew. Okay, so uh, our Mew is gone. Our Mew is gone, but our Inteleon survives. Which is actually not bad. This is actually not too bad. Okay. First of all, 
First of all, uh, that Mew needs to go. That Mew is just causing so much problems. Next up, we're going to go for the Ordinary Rod. We're going to be shuffling back uh, the Mew, of course. And what else? Wheezing or the Coughing. We still have more level balls in the deck, I guess. We shuffle these back. Also, Catterday is actually... This little Litten is also a great attacker, by the way. Great, great attacker. There's still more quick balls left, so I think I will shuffle these back. There they go. Moving forward. Roxy for one or Bird Keeper. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. Roxy does get us six cards, though. Six cards probably better than the cards we're having right now. Although we could also go for the Erika here. Yeah, quick bowling away this. Getting our good Mew by our side. And go for good classic Erika. That's also not too bad here. Look at all that go. Drizal. What could we possibly be needing right now? <laughs> the Yellhorn. And on the and then the big bite could be interesting. Yellhorn, so he's confused. How many switch outs? One switch out. It's not a lot. He can still manually retreat if he wants to. We already have a Roxy. Lava Ball can get ourselves. Irkinesis. We already have Irkinesis. So much thinking going around in this list. It's true. Yeah, maybe this guy. Or maybe we just use double ball so we can go for the Fion place. Also not too bad. Maybe he doesn't have the Rapid Strike energy. Yeah, I guess it's gonna be have gonna be this one. Slapping down the Mew. Getting another Persian set up. And we retreat and <laughs> poke this guy again. If we poke him with Inteleon, we will need two Inteleon. But we still have a Roxy spread as well. So if we get the Roxy spread for one, which is still not enough, probably should have switched in a uh, Weezing right there and that specific point. Yeah, because we will need to hang on to these guys later. Yeah, let's just go for this, I guess. A waterfall. Okay. So we have a huge hand. We still have Intellions left. Which Pokemon do we go after? Maybe we should have not. Yeah, he has the shady dealings in Talion, so he can get whatever he pleases. So that means even... It, he's probably gonna boss the Mew again, right? I guess so. He's gonna boss the Mew again. Which means... This is gonna, gonna have to go down to uh, Rowlet with the uh, Wind Shard taking KOs at one point. Okay, boss doors and uh, Tower of Waters. Yeah, our Mew goes down, that's for sure. So these are close games. Bosses orders the Mew. That's cool. Goes after the Zintelion, and there's the Gale Trust. Sure, bruh. So in this scenario, this Mew needs to go ASAP. We really need this Mew to go. Fioning. Irkinesis, Bird Keeper, Rowlet is also an option. Ah, okay. What to do here? Fioning is not an. Yeah, Fioning is actually not bad. Let's take this one. Let's go for another level ball. Let's get our good friend. Asper doesn't matter. Another one of these. 
Here comes Roxy, Coughing and Subble. Let's go. Here comes the damage. All right, what else? Intellion number two. Yeah, we will need to have all these Intellion snipes onto this annoying Mew. Poof. All right, taking a prize card. How about that? <laughs> Communication, okay. That means we can get another snipe going around. Probably is gonna probably is gonna Marnie us if I'm being honest. So I'm actually gonna put this Rowlet back in the deck. Get another Intellion. Intellion, here we go. All right, folks. He's gonna get rid of all these attackers, right? Slapping down the Fion. Right now we're slapping um, 110 damage. 110 damage. So we do it twice at 220, which is enough to knock this guy out. This guy can still come from the bench. We're gonna go for Intellion quick shooting onto this guy just in case. And we will go for Fion. Go for the Esper. Retreating to the Esper. And uh, yeah, let's take some of these guys down. How many Rapid Strike energies in his discard pile? Zero. Air Kinesis. Taking his options away. Our Mew is gone. He's gonna get, probably get rid of these guys. We don't have bosses orders either. It's gonna have to come down to the wire, I guess. He's probably gonna have switch outs. Uh, it's just maybe some of these rapid strike energies are priced. You never know. Yellhorn. Coffee. And Bruno. <laughs> okay. We need one more prize card. Maybe we should snipe this guy. Yeah, but we have three snipes left, right? And a bird keeper with... There's a reset stand to one? What? Oh, well. Roxy, <laughs> that could help. Queen Ball to Danny. No, Crobat. Well, we are in an awkward situation. Let's hope he whips out. That recent stamp was brutal. Cheryl! Whoa! Now I've seen everything. Now I have seen everything, man. That Cheryl play. Ridiculous. What now? That Cheryl play was crazy, man. But this deck is holding its own. Bird Keeper. Come on. We need to find Rowlet. There's no Rowlet. Whew, that was close. Okay, let's see here. Who is he gonna give us? We need to spread 60 damage. Okay, next. Quick shooting. Well, this is an intense game, isn't it? Well played. <laughs> you have a good deck. <laughs> that was su a super fun game, man. I'm glad I recorded this one. So yeah, out of the reset stamp, we came out on top and uh, we destroyed a tier one deck with Catterday. So we're gonna try and do this again. 
Well, you really need to think long and hard with this deck, man. I probably did some misplays here and there, but I tried to showcase what the deck is capable of. Yeah, I'm actually very, very afraid only running one copy of Mew. Maybe you should swap out one Litten for another Mew, because if your Mew is priced, you automatically lose this matchup. On the other hand, Litten can actually make some uh, opponents trapped. You also don't have bosses orders, which is also something tricky. Let's try this out again, man. Froki 5-8, our opponent. Let's see. This time around, we do win the coin flip. Super nice. Is it gonna be Shadow Rider? Yeah, this is an awkward hand to work with. Awkward hand to work with. Let's just save our Meowth while we can. Oracorio, Meowth, Meowth, Lovable. Subble. Yeah, it's okay. Subble, Mew is in there. I don't even know what we're up against, to be honest. Here's the Subble. We're gonna wait with this Evolution Incense and just wait it out. We have two Persians set up. We can now go for Evolution Incense. We can go for Erika if he has a huge hand, a huge bench size. Fog, Crystal, and Minchino. Oh, it's Malamar. Okay. That makes sense. The only thing we need is Bird Keeper to knock this guy out. So, uh, Drizzle, Bird Keeper, Bird Keeper, knock this guy out. If he doesn't have another NK to set himself up, he's gonna be locked and loaded. Energy. Energy to the NK? Yeah, that's bad. That feels bad, man. Okay. Persian activation, Drizzle activation. Drizzle go for the switch. Bird Keeper in the house. Let's Bird Keep because Persian has free retreat, which is totally bonkers. Uh, let's go for Quick Ball. Let's get rid of another Persian because probably not gonna go after our Persian. Let's just get out another Subble. Oh yeah, I'm getting the hang of this deck. I'm getting the hang of this deck. Let's go. Wind shard. Oof. Bye, NK. Nice knowing you. Take a prize card. Communication. Cool. Yeah. If he sets up another... We're just gonna go for it and drizzle. And then we have Bird Keeper in hand already. What is this guy? Octillery. A golden Octillery is on our way. So we won against a three prize deck like Urshifu. And now we're up against a rogue deck. Malamar, and that seems to be going super well with this one-off Rowlet. Glad I started with this one. Here he goes, NK number two. If we are able to uh, knock this guy out again, it's gonna be ridiculous. He needs some more. He already used two Fog Crystals and a Lovable. Air Balloon on the Oricorio. Chinchino. And the cool thing is, these guys have a low amount of hit points. Ordinary Rod, Shuffling Back, everything. Also energies? Yes or no? And the cool thing is, even if we like... Give up, like, already take two prize cards, this gives us two prize cards in the long run. Which is super nice to work with. Evolution Incense. Uh, Drizzle. Drizzle, activation. Yes, I think I will take a... I don't even know what we need. Roxy, I don't even need Roxy to be honest. Maybe Roxy for later. We have communication and evolution and sense anyhow, so let's just go for Bird Keeper again. Whee! Sniping party, and then just put it, push, punishing the Oracorio for now. Retreat. Pokemon communication. Subble, 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 subble. Yeah, there's the subble. There we freaking go. Wind shard. <laughs> this wind shard attack is strong, man. If you don't have Mew, this Rowlet is gonna go rampant. What is this lovable? So we have another Drizzle, so we can Bird Keeper again and keep like looping this strategy. This is. 
right hand like slaughtering a Malamar deck just with a little Rowlet. And out of nowhere, Ear can eat oh, double. Oof. Okay. If we use Roxy once, yeah. Roxy for two damage counters. And then Intellion pings. Yeah, there's 60 damage counters on Oracoria. We can knock him out with uh, the um, Asper. And the opponent still keeps continuing his strategy. Let's freaking go. Evolution Incense. Drizzle. <laughs> Bird Keeper again. Ah, oh, this is so nasty. Let's go. Searching out. Bird Keeper. Quick shooting. Let's go. This Rowlet is insane. This Rowlet is literally insane. Poof. And he's gonna say like, what kind of deck is this? Yeah, he will need a lot of stuff next turn. But we are okay with that. Wind chart. Yeah, he needs to evolve. And I don't even know how much HP does a Malamar even have. And we can Roxy, so uh, pretty scary, eh? Malamar, 120 HP. That means we can Asper this guy if we use Fion. We Fion, Asper, <laughs> another one of these guys. Okay. They keep on coming, man. The squids. Boss. Okay, we do have capture energies to retreat, so uh, he can knock it out if he wants to. We are uh, we don't have any bird keepers left in the deck. There's one prized. I think I will just Fion here. Sounds like the best a reasonable thing to do here. He needs to remove four rapid strikes from his hand. That's exactly what he's doing. That is exactly what he is doing. All right. First of all, are you ready for some Roxy action? Chaka, chaka. Ta 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 ta. <laughs> Look at all the damage counters. The damage counters are going crazy. Okay, this guy has 30 HP left. That's not a lot. Communication. The Mew can attack. The Litten can also uh, knock this guy out, by the way. Super nice and efficient. Okay, first of all, Inteleon. We're gonna just get rid of all of his engage. He's gonna say like, wow, my deck. What's gonna happen to my deck now? Quick shooting, poof. <laughs> Quick shooting, poof. These inkies are not surviving at all. Ta-ta! Yeah, this is a, a walk in the park, isn't it? Retreat. Litten. Attack. <laughs> We've used all of the Pokemon in this deck. All of them. It's cool. And there's our bird keeper, so uh, say goodbye to everything if he doesn't slap down Mew. Four, mal four inkays in the discard and an ordinary rod. I think this is game. There's there's no other way. Yeah, that's what I figured. There's the W. Catterday in the house. We're going to be playing one more game, fellas. If you guys are hyped, let me know. That was fun, right? Making sure the opponent didn't have any attackers to work with. What have we seen with Chilling Rain is that Intellion engines are broken. Okay, last match of the day. And what are we up against? We don't know, but we can go first. Also, opponent has world sleeves. Should we be afraid? Next turn, we are able to evolve and have free retreat on our Persian. Super nice. Problem with this... Hello? Hello? Our hand is like super bad. For real. Evo Incense. Let's just take a wheezing for the memes of it and just 
hope we top deck Roxy. We'll see. Probably should have slapped down Fion. But I don't think this guy is going to be able to attack on the first turn unless he is playing. Uh, yeah, now the Eldegals only slaps 50 damage. I was thinking about uh, ADP Fioni as well. Did that, eh? Saucer, Saucer, Saucer. Well, and I thought I had a bad hand. Station. Saucer. Okay, we could get donked. But if we probably would have been knocked out anyhow. This guy hasn't played a supporter just yet. He needs... Saucer. What the... What in the world? Even if we had Fion, <laughs> our hand is on top deck position. Well. That's how quickly things can go if Dedenne is in the format. Didn't even need to play uh, Fioni to get a Saucer, just raw into Saucers. Well, at least we can get, play another game because that, that was not considered a game. We were not even doing anything. And the funny thing is we have like three quick balls, four level balls, four capture energies. None of that in the opening hand. We lose the coin flip. But it's okay. It is okay. Look at this hand. Subble first. Rowlet first. It all depends on what the opponent is doing though. I want to be saving our uh, little subble for sure. Evo instance Roxy seems like a plan. Evo incense into Evo incense. Yeah, Evo incense. Roxy, wheezing party, that's what, exactly what's gonna happen here. Gengar Mimikyu, okay. Mar Shadow, attachments, Horror House is coming, man. Quick Ball, Shadow Rider, Calyrex V. Okay, that's a matchup we haven't had before. We'll see if we're gonna be able to do anything about it. Capture energy, it's not too bad. First things first, Evo Incense into the Weezing. Let's bring in some action here. Ta-ta, ta-ta. Look at all these cards. Look at all that damage. Look at all that damage. Moving forward, we're gonna slap down the yellow horn. Ta -ta. I'm gonna get a capture energy. Hmm. Communication. Theo. Or this guy. Probably this guy. I'm gonna slap down Meowth. We're not gonna be able to. Uh, he's gonna horror houses, right? This. Then. Capture energy. Subble again. Evo incense. Drizal. Drizal, Drizal. That's how it is. Fion is an interesting card. I'm not going to be slapping it down just yet. Catterday, Asper. Let's go for Esper and pass. Let's see what we're able to do. Okay. Attachment, he needs switch, switch. Switch air balloon. We have the double Drizzle. He's still confused. The bench is filled up, so Erica is gonna be huge. And there's a research on top. Ta 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 ta. Okay, not even, uh, there's that switch. Air balloon, switch air balloon, that's what I figured, man. Horror house? Or poltergeist and getting the KO. We can go for Esper, slapping a little bit of damage on these. These are three prize Pokemon that we are dealing with right now. Hmm. Quick ball. I wonder if we're gonna go for horror house or not. He's gonna take the first prize card regardless. 
The Danny Jacks. Yeah, just fill up your bench, man. What are you looking for? Mewtwo Mind Report? Boss on top? Oh, hello. We are afraid right now. Horror House. Yeah, our Meowth is uh, going to be leaving the building, fellas. Yeah, Horror House is just so broken. We need to slap down two Meowths right now. Boss? Yeah, there's that first Meowth, that's right. Well, at least our hand is super huge, which means we can uh, do a crazy Roxy play. Lava Ball, Quick Ball, yeah, all of these guys. Even a Bird Keeper on top of that. Okay, Drizal. We have coughing and coughing. Quick ball. The next Drizal. Provides us with the Roxy. There we go. So we have a level ball. Probably we'll need the Meowth as well. You can go after a Meowth again, but that's super annoying. First of all, let's just get these coughings out, shall we? We only need one Persian, by the way. Let's take care of all these while we're at it. Here we go, Roxy time. One, two, activate. Ta 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 look at that go on all these guys Meowth that's right ordinary rot shuffling back Meowth that's right and blow away bomb wheezing for the memes of it maybe a coughing easier to find okay Moving forward, I'm gonna go for a capture energy here. Getting another one of these out. And we will retreat and give him the Rowlet. How about that? Okay, next turn, we are able to use the Fion play. We're gonna have uh, Erica by our side as well. Or maybe a Bruno, depends on the, if he Marnies or not. We also have some uh, 50 HP Pokemon in the form of Rowlet. He can go for that attack here, the Astral Barrage. Okay, boss, Meowth, and Poltergeist. It's a shame, but it is what it is. Okay, Meowth, it's time for you to shine. Persian. Capture energy. Wait, with the capture energy, let's see here. Level ball first. Communication. This. Let's take this guy out. We can Fion as well. Okay, it's time to draw a lot of cards. Let's go. Let's see here, if he is at 80, we are slapping 160, which is perfect numbers. I like perfect numbers. Whirlpool suction. All right, next up. We are gonna go for capture energy on this guy. No longer have meows. Unfortunately, we do have another Subble and that can turn into another Intellion later down the line. Right now we will retreat into Esper and we're going to be taking down the Gengar Mimikyu. Okay, let's see if he's going to have boss. Irkinesis, taking three prize cards, fellas. 
And he's probably gonna go after a Persian right now, there's no other way. So we have triple snipes and an attack of Natalia. Ooh, little Meowth, perfect. And a Weezing. Weezing! This guy still needs to take four prize cards, already used two bosses orders and the Mewtwo. We can of course draw a lot of cards. This is a, an intense, skillful game with Catter Day. I like it. I like it very much. Ordinary Rod will shuffle back some energies and Pokemon, which are irrelevant. Three prize cards left to take. The good news is this is a three prize Pokemon. So if we snipe Inteleon, snipe Inteleon, this guy is gonna be at 80. This guy needs 120 damage on it to uh, actually work out, or 110, I should say. One hundred and ten. So with triple snipes, that's sixty. Run Roxy. Do we still have Roxy's left? Yeah. Cool. Underworld door. Oof. Nightwatch. Nightwatch Marty. Is it, is it real? Is it gonna happen? He needs. Oh no. Not just yet. Max Geist. Okay. This guy needs one hundred damage on it in order to uh, knock it out. This guy still needs seventy damage on it. Okay. 70 damage. Uh, first of all, this you can also go after a two, two prizer, by the way. Meowth, just to make him scared. Quick shooting. Quick shooting. We can Bird Keeper and knock this guy out, or we can Bird Keeper and... Mm -hmm. Or we can slap with Inteleon, it's also not a bad plan. The result. Yellhorn, Tool Scrapper, all great solutions here. Level ball. This guy. It's Roxy time again. One, two, ta ta. <laughs> Look at all that damage, man. Okay. We can attack with Inteleon, which could be cool. Could be kind of cool, you know? Capture energy on this guy. Tool scrapper. Get rid of this. Retreat and attack. So uh, right now the Inteleon is on the attacking spree. 170 damage. He needs to go at after Persian or Esper wins the game. That's how it is, unless he has Mew, which I doubt. He needs to boss up the Persian, but then Inteleon stays alive, right? El Creamy. <laughs> Look at all that damage on this board, it's crazy. I wonder if he's gonna have a stadium, he has... I haven't seen any stadiums just yet though. We have Bird Keeper with the Rowlet as well, which could be very dangerous. He, he could Night Watch, but he needs to... Ooh, yeah, this guy's gonna go away, that's for sure. Underworld Door. Maybe all of our output should have been on uh, the Dust North Trevenant. The Danny GX, okay, he's looking for that Marnie or Reset Stamp. I don't even know which card he's looking for. It's probably gonna be Marnie, right? Which means hopefully we will find level ball or quick ball. Or no Marnie at all. Cheryl! Oh wow! Now I'm surprised. I am very surprised. Didn't expect that at all. <laughs> the Cheryl, a random Cheryl in the uh, in this list is crazy. 
Okay. Okay. So now we have to change our strategy. Quit shooting on this guy. Quick shooting on this guy. Then we can... I don't even know if he has boss's orders left. And I really don't know if we have... Let's just get rid of the Mew. <clears throat> yeah, we do have a Persian left. That's cool. P goes for anything nasty. We can go for the... He's probably going to knock something out, is he? Gonna leave all these cards in hand. These are all draw supporters. We have switches left. Air balloon switch. He probably has switches left. Let's make him not being able to retreat. Sounds like a good option to me. If we play Bird Keeper right now, we could still play Marnie and just put us to a low hand side. So let's just try to calm it down that way. Yeah, this guy can also snipe 60 on the Mew too. Maybe we, that could have been an option to take multiple prize cards there. Oh well. Let's just bug bite the hell out of this guy. Roxy. If we draw all of our cards and if he marries us, he's gonna put him down to the bottom of the deck. I don't even know if he has reset stamp as well, as well so let's just go for bug bite. We'll see. 120. Even the Intellion could knock him out. If we have two Intellions, that's 110 damage output. Still not quite enough. This is a close game, by the way. That Cheryl surprised me. Who in the hell plays Cheryl in this kind of list? Definitely should have uh, targeted this guy down from the get-go. Okay. Underworld door. Eight cards left in the deck. Will we see Marnie reset stamp? Where is Marnie, by the way? He's playing two research, two boss, one Cheryl. I'm expecting a Marnie right now. A reset stamp, yeah, that's why I didn't play Bird Keeper or Roxy down. Uh, there we go. The Fiona's, <laughs> no. No, he's gonna Nightwatch our hand. Uh, can we please keep Bird Keeper? And a research on top. Okay, that reset stamp was deadly. Please let us keep Bird Keeper. We still have Bird Keeper and uh, Roxy as well. Of course. We still have Fion though, so if we top deck um, Asper, we win, right? Come on. <laughs> this is not what we need. Quick shooting. Yeah, this is not what we need. Yeah, we are done for. There's no other way. 160. Yeah. We had Fionn, but no Esper. There's still, there were still level balls left, by the way. There were still Roxy's left. Yeah, we came close. We came close. That's just well played. Man, so many stuff that was still in the deck. Nightwatch is super strong. Super strong for sure, yeah. Hopefully you guys still enjoyed this video of Catterday. If you did, be sure to let me know by destroying the hell out of the like button. Be sure to subscribe for more daily Pokemon TCG content and uh, be sure to check out our sponsors. PotownStore.com, the best place for TCGO code cards. Use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG and get 5% of your complete order on anything on the website. Get yourself promo codes, some sweet uh, yeah, deals are happening right now and uh, be sure to check it out. Also, go check out CardMarket.com. If you're a European player, you can buy and sell cards to people all across Europe. And then last but not least, go check out yourplaymat.com, a website where you're able to create your own unique custom playmat. If you want that for the new season, click the link in the description right now and get 10% off your complete order. They ship worldwide. 
Look at this. This is the website, yourplaymat.com. Click the link in the description, get 10% off, and uh, create your own unique playmat. Anyhow, have yourself a fantastic rest of your day. I'll see you guys tomorrow for more Pokemon TCG epicness. I'm out. Peace.